my Linians, this is Teacher Rizaldi, and today we are going to discuss the topic quadratic equations. This video tutorial is based from your learning activity sheets in Math 9, Part 1, Week 1. So bring out your learning activity sheet as well as your learner's module and turn to page 11 to 17. Our learning target for this session is to illustrate quadratic equations. Before the lesson, let's have some warm-up questions. I have here four questions for you to answer. Below are different equations. Use these equations to answer the questions that follow. Which of the given equations are linear? Timer starts now. Very good. The answers are equations number 1 and 3. How do you describe linear equation? Timer starts now. Nice answer. 1 is the highest exponent. Which of the given equations are not linear? Timer starts now. Very good! Equations number 2, 4, and 5 are not linear. Do you agree that x plus 2 times x plus 5 is equal to x squared plus 7x plus 10? Yes, x plus 2 times x plus 5 is equal x squared plus 7x plus 10 by multiplying the two binomials using FOIL method. Now, let us differentiate linear equation and quadratic equation. Linear equation is mathematical sentence with 1 as the highest exponent of the variable while quadratic equation is mathematical sentence of degree 2 that can be written in standard form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 where a, b, and c are real numbers and a is not equal to 0. In the next examples, let us see how we can determine the values of a, b, and c of a quadratic equation. Example number 1, we have 3x squared plus 4x minus 5 equals 0. This is already written in standard form. We can easily identify the values of a, b, and c. In this example, a equals 3 because the numerical coefficient of the quadratic term 3x squared is 3, b equals 4 because the numerical coefficient of the linear term 4x is 4, and lastly, c equals negative 5 because it is the constant term. Example number 2, we have 2x times x minus 2 equals 7. This is not written in standard form. To write this in standard form, expand the product and make one side of the equation equal to 0. Using the distributive property, we have 2x squared minus 4x equals 7. 7 is subtracted from both sides. We have 2x squared minus 4x minus 7 equals 7 minus 7. The equation is now in standard form 2x squared minus 4x minus 7 equals 0, wherein the value of a equals 2, b equals negative 4, and c equals negative 7. In example number 3, we have x plus 3 times x minus 2 equals negative 4. This is also not written in standard form. So let us write it first in standard form. By multiplying the two binomials by FOIL method, we have x squared minus 2x plus 3x minus 6 equals negative 4. 
applying addition property of equality to make the right side of the equation equal to 0, we have x squared plus x minus 6 plus 4 equals negative 4 plus 4. The equation now is in standard form x squared plus x minus 2 equals 0, wherein the value of a equals 1, value of b equals 1, and value of c equals negative 2. Remember, if b equals 0 in the equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, then the result of the quadratic equation is in the form ax squared plus c equals 0. Look at the given examples. We have x squared minus 4, negative 3x squared minus 5, and 7x squared plus 6. These are quadratic equations in the form ax squared plus c equals 0, where b equals 0. Let us summarize what we have discussed today. A quadratic equation in one variable is a mathematical sentence of degree 2 that can be written in a standard form. The standard form of quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, where a, b, and c are real numbers and a is not equal to 0. To write the quadratic equation in standard form, expand the product of the algebraic expressions. Then, write the product in decreasing power of exponent. Take note that one side of the equation must be 0. Reminder, do not write anything on this activity sheet. Write your answer on a separate long band paper. For enrichment 1, identify which of the given equations are quadratic equations and which are not quadratic equations. In your answer sheet, write QE if it is a quadratic equation and NQE if not quadratic equation, one point for each item. For enrichment 2, write each quadratic equation in standard form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, then identify the values of a, b, and c, show your complete solution on your answer sheet, and encircle your final answer, 4 points for each item. For the wrap-up activity, how do quadratic equations differ from linear equations? I hope you learned something today. If you have questions or clarifications regarding the topic we discussed, feel free to contact your subject teacher through text, call, or post your questions in your official Facebook group or page. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.